Hi! Good day everyone! I am Catherine P. Diracho, currently taking up the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. So for today's video, let's talk about the global divides, the north and the south. So, when does the idea of the global north and the global south started? The Broad Report of 1983 started it out. It was published by a commission chair, the former German Chancellor Willy Brandt. The report identified the North as the first and second world countries and lies above the South at 30 degree North. And the South is where the third world countries belong at approximately 30 degree South. What is Global North? The North are considered as the rich and developed countries like United States, Canada, Western Europe, developed countries in Asia like Japan, South Korea, Singapore and Taiwan, and Australia and New Zealand. These two countries are not located in the North, however, they share similar economic and cultural characteristics. They are characterized by established democracy, technological advancement, political stability, aging population, zero population growth, and dominance of world trade and politics. What is Global South? The South refers to the less developed countries, characterized by low level of economic development, large inequalities in living standards, and low life expectancy. These third world countries are Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Oceania. What are their differences? The North are the fully developed countries, less population, high wealth, high standard of living, and high industrial development. While the South are the less developed countries, high population, low wealth, low standard of living, low industrial development, and it also serves as a source of the raw materials for the North. So why did the Global North and the Global South divide? The Global North and South divided because of the availability of natural resources, different levels of education and health, the nature of a country's economy and its industrial sectors, international trading policies and access to markets, how countries are governed, an international relationship between countries, conflict within and between countries, and a country's vulnerability to natural hazards and climate change. So that's all for the global device, the North and the South. Hope you learned a lot about this video. Thank you for watching!